Hi, Jen and Casey here with another Fusion Online video. Today we're going to look at some support to tools and some modifications for your pregnant clients with a supported squat. We're going to use the Cadillac pole today, but you could do this um, in a doorway, right? Mm -hmm. Or anything, you know, that's, that's very supportive, that's not going to fall down, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. that's really going to support their weight. Now, I say this is for pregnancy, and it is. We use this all the time for pregnancy because squatting is the golden pose for pregnancy. But this is also good to explore with your other clients to really open up their hips and their pelvic floor. Um, so this could be something that you would want to use with anybody. All right. All right. So Casey's going to put her hands around the uprights of the Cadillacs. You can see that she's externally rotating the legs, right, from the top of the leg bone, so that translates into the knee and the foot. And then from here, keeping this kind of magic circle of her arms, she's going to slowly climb her hands down, lower her pelvis. Good, and she's in that beautiful birthing pose here, where we have slight flexion of the lumbar spine, but the sacrum is nutated. So the, the inferior pelvis is nice and wide and open and ready to, to um, have the baby drop down and release. So here she can take a few deep inhales and exhales. So having the support of the door frame or the Cadillac really helps her, right, to hold herself in this position. It helps her to key into this upper core of her mid-back and have that kind of coordinate with her lower core and her deep pelvis to kind of stabilize the pose. Good, and now coming out of it, I really want her to use the leg strength to really feed the feet and the legs down into the floor as she climbs up so she can rise right back up. Now, sometimes <laughs> a problem that we see is that they don't have enough foot on the floor, right? Because they can be tight in the calf, tight in the Achilles tendon, which happens in pregnancy. So I have some little pads I'm gonna put under Casey's heels. And you can use, there you go, there you go. And if you don't have these pads, you can use a book, uh, a book that's the same size under each heel. <laughs> Good, and again, she's gonna do the same thing. I want her to anchor into her heels, balls of the feet, toes, as she lowers down into that birthing position with a slight flexion in the lumbar spine and a wide inferior pelvis. Good. And even here, she's releasing the hips down, right? But still feeding the, the foot and the lower leg down into the floor and imagining, right, using her brain and her breath to imagine the spine really growing out of the pelvis. And then coming up, we should have as much intention as going down, so really feeding the legs and the feet into the floor and growing through the spine, keeping that connection between the upper core and the lower core all the way up. Good. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.